hottest watches in the luxury business. Today we are at 90210 Watches with Seth. Yes, he's back. Good to see you, my friend. It is 10.30 in the morning. Oh, on, on what watch is that? Ah, QE Cup. What are this? Is this is... It's the... I don't know. What do you call this? It's a it's AP... It's offshore 44 millimeter ceramic and rose. It's nice, nice, right? It's beautiful. Just bought this. First time wearing it, actually. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, the watch world has missed you. We've missed coming to see you. <laughs> Thanks. So let's talk watches. What have you got? What's going on? What's, What's happening going in the watch world? And anything else you'd like to throw in there? The watch market, we've seen a, a real uh, volatile year. I mean, since last April, watches went down. They sort of stabilized, they went down again. Now they're kind of ticking up a little bit on certain Rolex models. We still see a lot of the Nautiluses and the Royal Oaks have come way down and they're still down some by 50%. Well, so well. yeah, it's, 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 it's serious. So show us what is good in today's market. I, I got my eye on this. That's the rainbow ruby bezel. Das, the das ist zum Beispiel eine Uhr, wenn ihr mal den Markt analysiert und schaut mal, was die Stückzahlen sagen. Ne? Es gibt nur noch zwei Uhren, meine und bei einem Holländer. Wenn die beiden weg sind, jumpt die Uhr direkt von 110 auf 170. Sehr selten Uhr. Diese Uhr sollte nicht so günstig sein. Das macht gar keinen Sinn. Also wenn man mal bei Chrono reingeht. Ich zeige euch das mal. Das hier war nämlich die einzige, die danach kommt. 189.000 Euro. Naja, auf jeden Fall, äh, das, äh, das ist eine, eine sehr, sehr spannende Uhr, auf die man äh, ein Auge werfen sollte. Onto the price of the watch. Just with the bezel? Yeah. Just that bezel? Yeah. yeah. When I said it was a difference. Vegas bezel, yeah. it really is a Vegas bezel. Yeah, it looks like a roulette wheel, doesn't oh it? Oh my goodness. So how much is this watch? 125. It's, 125. it's brand new, it's not used. It's actually a new old stock version of the watch, 125. 125, so literally, that's like $90,000 more than a, a regular one. Correct. That's, that's the market. Crazy. That's the market so what's the list price on something like this? I'm not sure. I think it was something like 60, 70,000. I'm not 100%. So these are still way over. Yeah. Put it away before yeah. I tempt myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with that type of watch. I mean, it's factory. It is. It's like actually, you're still allowed nice. to have bling yeah, stuff. It's true. Just not everything. That's true. What so have we got here? Let's talk no? about Daytona's because I see you have the Panda and the the black one next to it. Yeah, that's other a white there. gold, black diamond dial, and then oh, that's white gold. Yeah, this is white gold. And we also have the yellow gold right now. The two tones, you get the best deal on right now. These you can get for something like 18,000, 17, 18,000. Which is a good deal, right? That's about list. The older two tones, yeah. That's most bang for the buck. These, obviously, Panda Daytonas, the price a year ago was 50,000. Now they're, they were down to 30. They actually just ticked up a little bit, 33, 34 right now for brand new. This watch list at um, about $15,000, give or take. Right. I was very tempted to sell mine. I have it in both versions. I was very tempted to sell it when they were up about $50,000. And then I thought to myself, nah, it's going to go up further. <laughs> and at the end of the day, if I did sell it, I would miss it. Yeah. So I didn't sell it and I still have it, but now I guess I lost money. All right. I mean, you didn't lose money, did you? Because you never you never sold it. No. And these are gold ones. These are all both. Are good. I think this is around 45 and this is 50 for yellow gold. This is actually very pretty. It's it? gorgeous. It's very pretty. Hey, why don't you just take a little closer look at it? I think I might have to take a little closer. This is Because you don't have the gold, white gold, do you? I don't. I have a lot of Daytonas, though. You do, but what do I always say? If some is good, more is better. That is really pretty. That is a pretty, pretty watch. Wenn ich nicht so der heftigste Fan von, muss man sagen. Weißgold finde ich noch am besten. That's Michael Price? <laughs> Gotta try, right? Some things don't change. <laughs> Why would they? That's beautiful. Beautiful piece. And um, where was this like a year ago, value-wise? Uh, these were approximately 30% higher. Really? Yeah. And the list on that one is about where it is now, right? I think the list is right around, I want to say 40. This is a pretty watch. You used oh, to yes. wear a watch like yes, this. Yeah, this. I remember. This is the 15300, the 39mm. This is your It's a good watch. 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 It's not. And so, these went crazy as well. So, yeah, but they're coming down. So this this was up at like almost 50,000. Really? Yeah. Now it's 40. Yeah. 39mm? Yeah. Good, good to watch. Right? Reference yeah. 15300. So look like, like this one gave birth. <laughs> Interesting trivia, right? But what if you just don't Am Ende muss man sagen, eine rosé goldene Uhr, in dem screw it all the way Alter, dass heute keiner diese Uhr gekauft hat, also einfach jetzt aus, aus Spaß, ne? Dass die keiner gekauft hat für 18.000 Euro. Für 18.000 Euro, da kann man, da kriegt man noch nicht mal eine Hulk für. Das hat mich schon gewundert. On a real one, it's flat, totally flat. Oh, oh, okay, right? got it, got that's it. That's another thing. So that's flat, but that's the That's flat, but the AP oh. is on an angle. Let me see this one, see. Look, see? That's tight, that's flat, oh. and the AP is on the angle. There you go. So there you go. Everybody learned something. Yeah. You learned something. Yes, thank you. Don't, don't count on it. It might not be accurate. <laughs> right. I don't suppose you have a fake one. No, of course not. <laughs> no. But but if you did, 
then you would see that that was all wrong. Green dial chrono. Is this green? green? Dial. Yeah, that's a green dial. So what? You know it is. I, I thought it was black at first. <laughs> yeah, place. that's a very dark green. Isn't very it? subtle. Beautiful. Yeah. What's the story with this one? I mean, again, huge pullback. When these first came out, they were like 150 to 170. Now they're down to 100. 170? Yeah, when they first came out. Oh my goodness. And the cost on this originally was probably in the, what, 50s? Yeah. If that? I, I think, I think around the Look 50s. how pretty the back of it is. Oh, 50th anniversary. Nice. That's lovely. Yeah, that's a gorgeous watch. Yeah. I really like that. Clearly, Richard Meals. Yep. Uh, out of all of them, I, I, I like that one the, the best. You like the baby Nadal? Yeah, it, baby no, Nadal. I give some best yeah, seller. The small Nadal, the RM35. Yeah. This is a 2012 special edition. These are collectible. So three years ago, four years ago, 140. Now the watch is over 200, 210, 220. This watch was 250, 260. Came down a little bit. Gorgeous. This is also a very stable club, I have to say. But it's also a small club. Collectible. And this is how much? Two to, I'll sell for 220 to 25 right and, there. And this is nothing other than tell the time. That's correct. Oh, wow. like, <laughs> so you've got this yeah. for a quarter of a million dollars. Right. And or this for this. 30 grand yeah. less. Yeah. So I'd say this every day of the week. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's the thing. You this will at some point be worth 10 bucks, right? When people start to realize that it's all been hyped, they'll, they'll be what they feel like, right? It's something you find in a lucky bag. But <laughs> <laughs> do you have lucky bags in America? I love how you go from that <laughs> to sometimes you'd be like, this one's actually really nice. I like well, it. Uh, for, um, What's a lucky bag? So a lucky bag is <laughs> Never in England. It. You know a lucky yeah, bag, yeah. right? So in England, you can buy, you know, a candy shop. And we call it sweets, right? You buy a bag and it's got various candies like Skittles and Maltesers and things like that. They don't it's have like Maltesers. You don't know what's in right? there. And there's a gift. There's some chingy little gift, like getting a Happy Meal at McDonald's. Yeah, right? yeah. That's what this feels like, right? It does, it feels like Adam. So am I wrong? I mean, there is, there's nothing to it. Nothing, nothing like, to it at all. So it's so light. But that's part of the appeal. Yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's 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 not, rub your finger, rub your, rub your finger over that. It's sharp. I mean, it's not yeah. even nicely finished. I mean, <laughs> it's not, it's factual. Take it off him, Seth. Take it off him. Oh, pull but, a, pull but, a Yossi, but, snatch it off him and tell him he can't look at it anymore. But at the same time, their marketing is probably the best of any brand ever. Can I challenge you guys? I would like both of you to pick your hot watch right now. So if someone's looking to buy a watch right now that you believe in, let's say, when you want to do another video with us, six months, 12 months? Well, I want to do another one next week with you. Okay. Let's just say- uh, Six months. Six, six months. Six, six, to, six to nine months down the road. Okay, okay. all right. So, so both of you pick, and not from necessarily from here, but just like pick any watch right now that you think in six months time when we revisit, will have appreciated the most versus each other. Right, and I think also- we should A winner does a shot. Uh, <laughs> and I think we should also predict which one will collapse the most. Okay, so pick a hot watch and a cold watch. Okay, you go first. All right, so um, my prediction for which watch has the chance of going up the most in the next six to nine months, I'm gonna say is the yellow gold green dial Daytona, the John Mayer, because right now those are at 75,000. Wow, that's they, low. They, they were at 140. So I'm gonna go ahead and just guess that it is gonna get announced, discontinued, and you're gonna see an overnight spike up to like one, 100, 110. I feel like that watch right now, if anybody wants to jump in on that watch on a used one, I think that's got the best appreciation. Okay. okay What's young, your hot watch? My hot watch is the Platinum Daytona. There's been a rumor that Rolex is going to discontinue that one. It's been such a hot watch Ach, for the past five, six years. That one, I think, if they do discontinue it, which I think they probably will, will just go astronomical. I think. Okay. Um, and then collapse. Cold watch. Richard Mills. Which one? Richard Mills. They've Big had one. a fantastic, all of them. <laughs> I, think they've, I think <laughs> all Richard Mills. They've had a fantastic run, right? They got hyped. I mean, some of these watches were triple, quadruple their value, right? Oh yeah, uh, and, easy. And now I think people are coming to the realization that they make a good watch, but the, the price, I mean, to justify this at the price, $200,000 you said? More. More, it just tells the time. It doesn't even have the date, right? Just so you know, by choosing all RMs, Seth has the opportunity to steal this back from you because if he can find one RM that has gone up in the, in the last six months. <laughs> there will always be some RMs that are. Which go is why up. you've got to pick one watch. Okay. You can't just oh, be hating okay. on RM. All right. Well, I'm not hating on RM. I'm just saying the ridiculous. <laughs> Would you price. say he's hating I mean, on RM, sir? Yeah, yeah. Do you, think, <laughs> do, do you think this watch is worth $220,000 or $250,000? Not in a down market, I don't think so. Yeah. Do you think in any market this I think, watch I, is I, I worth. Think, I think if banks were closing left wait, and right, wait, I don't wait. think that's worth $220,000. Okay, which one are you going to buy? Yeah, this one for sure. Every day, yeah. right? Yeah. If this one was 100000 less, which one are you going to buy? If this was 100000 less? Yeah. You're still going to buy this one. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 okay, okay, all right. Pipe down on your hating on, on RM. Let's pick a watch that you think is a You're just going to pick all RMs. Yeah, and let me, let me just let, let me make a, a generalization also. I think that um, the, the watches that are also going to go down are the, 
everything that's been blinged out, all the aftermarket Rolex stuff with covered with diamonds. I agree with that. I feel those are also going to go down a lot. Okay. I, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, all right. But I think also that uh, the smart money right now is if you're if you're just looking to park some money, you're looking for a good return on investment. I think if you buy the five-digit vintage Rolexes from the '90s, like the GMTs, the Subs, even the Daytonas, reference one one six five two zeros in white and black. Who do you sound like just now? Nico Leonard. Yeah. Basically, this watch with the with the steel bezel, right? In either black or white, you can pick those up right now for like in the low twenties. Good buy. With box and papers, I think those are good buys right now. Also, the GMTs, the the, the Pepsi's, the red and the blues. Because they were at thirty thousand, and now they're in the high teens, right? Wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking like about a Pepsi? You're talking this Pepsi? Yeah. No. So this is a ceramic Pepsi. I'm talking about the aluminum bezel ah, Pepsi. Okay, the old the, ones. The, the ones from the nineties. Those you can pick up right now for like around thirteen thousand, thirteen five. I feel like those and are they safe, look very pets. similar. They look very similar. Well, Jeff, this them. has been amazing. This has yeah. been great. Amazing to come back here and, and see you and that you're back in business. Ja, also auf jeden Fall, wenn man jetzt aktuell was kaufen möchte um die 20.000 Euro, hat es schon richtig gesagt, die Daytona Modelle. Hier, das sind so die die Modelle, die man sich auf jeden Fall mal anschauen kann. Preis-Leistung top und das das Modell von 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 Rolex und Daytona immer gut lange eingestellt und äh, ja. 